There are moments in life when happy mistakes turn into glorious results, and this is one of them. It's the craziest thing. So there I was the other day. I'm cleaning out a few things in the pantry. You know, you gotta look at the dates. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't checked dates on cans and, and bottles and things that are in your pantry, you must do it. So, as I'm looking at some things, I come across a bag of instant mashed potatoes. Now, why would I have these? I know how to make mashed potatoes. In fact, I think my mashed potatoes, some of the best ones ever. But maybe I had these for like a breading on the outside of something, it's common for that. Maybe in past cookbook shoots, I've needed mashed potatoes just for a quick shot and this was an easy way to get them. Doesn't really matter while they're there. I'm not really a fan of these anymore. But while I was checking dates, I come across this date and this is best used by 2019. So clearly they've been sitting there a while. So I take it and I go like this, throw it out. And then the light bell hits. Does the light bell hit or does it go off? You mean the light bulb? What did I say? Light bell. Yes, I meant the light bulb. Then the light, that's why it didn't sound right. Then the light bulb went off like this, Doop. right there above my head. And what the light bulb said to me was, hey, Sammy boy, if that's just dried potatoes that you add moisture to to turn into mashed potatoes, wouldn't this do the same thing? Hell yeah. With a little bit more work? So. I get here early the other day before a shoot, I make a batch of it. Max, Chance, and Deb start wandering in, and I've got it made, and I go, here, try this and tell me what you think. They try it. I didn't say what it was. Max assumed right away it was very delicious cauliflower mash, and the other two sheep just went along with him. Yes, delicious cauliflower mash. He goes, not. it's made from potato chips. And that's what we're doing. Except not just with these, because we got different flavors to try too. I'm telling you how easy this is, is crazy. So pay attention. And as long as you got one of these in your house and a little, I don't know, milk product, you're eating large with delicious mashed potatoes that nobody will know. In fact, that's the fun part. Don't tell them the people you cook for. Just make them. Let them say, oh my God, these are so good. All right, we begin with a scale. Look, I know it's ridiculous to be using a scale to weigh potato chips for mashed potatoes, but there is a bit of a science to it. So we'll put our container on, we'll zero it out. We want three ounces of potato chips to go with one cup of water. So two point, oh, look, this is too small. Can I do this? Yeah, I could have used something bigger, couldn't I? No, I had to do this. I had to be difficult. Nothing neat comes easy here. 2.99, and that should do it. Nope, it didn't do it. This should do it. Nope, it didn't do it. How is this not adding up? This should do it. Nope, that didn't, there we go. Oh, now it's over, it's okay. We're gonna be fine. All right, we got our chips. Now to the Evo. And we begin with one cup, AKA eight ounces of water. All right, now you gotta get the water hot. It doesn't have to boil, but you want it almost to the point where it is. It will just help soften up these chips in a much, much more efficient way. Honestly, the prep for this couldn't be more ridiculous. Weigh out three ounces of chips, simmer some water, and you're basically there. And to make it really easy, you could buy that variety pack of 20 bags of one ounces each and just grab three of them. Who knows, a combination might be great. And when it looks like that, and we go, look, I could have put them in a bag and crushed them up first, but that's a whole extra step that I think is a waste of your time. So you drop them in and then with a big spoon, push everybody under. The key I think in a ridiculous recipe like this is to just get them moistened first because once they get wet, they'll start to break down and that's what you want. So now just let them sit there for a second. Try not to splash yourself with hot freaking water. You can see the process is happening, right? Okay, I know you're looking at this and you're thinking, all right, Sam, just looks like wet potato chips to me. That doesn't look like anything yet. And I say, well, hold on there, Sparky. Give it a second. I didn't say it was a two second recipe. I just said it was an easy recipe, but it's happening. Oh baby, it's happening. And the more time you give it, and the more you moosh it around like this, the more mashed potato like it gets. Okay, so now after a couple of minutes, you can see, look. I mean, that, that looks-ish like mashed potatoes. But we want it a little creamier, so I've got 
a quarter cup of half and half. Half cream, half milk, if you're gonna make it yourself. And we're just gonna let this do its thing. Now, now we're talking, dang. Look it, all right, we don't need to salt it because the chips were salted. But let's give it some pepper. A couple nice grinds of black pepper is always a good thing. And I, ladies and gentlemen, am ready to plate this ridiculous little concoction. Let's go. So using one of these little cast iron pots I keep my salt and pepper in, we're gonna make this beautiful and I'm gonna try not to mess the edges, okay, Max? Okay. Let's go one more. Oh, I love it. Oh, and the smell. The boys just commented. It's sort of like an enhanced potato chip smell. Now, I'm gonna finish it with just two things. Just a little bit of really good extra virgin olive oil and some beautiful little perfectly cut chives. <laughs> Look at this. Who knew you could do that? I love them. Boys, you love them. Love. Thank you, Chance. Max can't contribute today? I love them. But creamy mashed potatoes? Is there any difference, really? Oh, yeah, they're like a thousand times easier to make. And a little drizzle of good olive oil is a very welcome thing. I mean, it just adds to the gorgeousness, the richness of the whole thing. But I mean, come on, you go from nothing to mashed potatoes in what, eight minutes? I, I think that's pretty damn good. Your boiled potatoes are not even close to being ready in that time. But now, the all important taste test. Just a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. If you hadn't told me that someone made these out of a bag of potato chips, I would have been like, oh, do you have any more mashed potatoes? These are really good. The boys are right. It is like an enhanced potato chip flavor, but you wouldn't recognize it as potato chips in this, just as deliciously enhanced potato flavor. And so here's the thinking. Mm. If it works with plain chips, these other ones over here, Let's just find out, shall we? I'm ready for cheddar jalapeno. Oh, do you have a choice? Sour cream and onion. I think I'm sour cream and onion too. We'll do that first. Max, you got overruled. Finally, I took a win on my side from chance. I should go to the races today. I'm feeling lucky. Sour cream and onion begin like all the others with three ounces of chips going into eight ounces of simmering water. We mix them in, pushing down so they get moistened and start turning Yes, mushy. And when you're pretty happy with the result, add one quarter cup of half and half cream. Stir until smooth and then plate, or in this case, bowl, and we'll add some extra virgin olive oil, a few grinds of pepper and green onions to keep in our theme. Next up, cheesy jalapeno. And the steps are the same, of course. We mix, we mush, we add the cream, we stir and stir until smooth and creamy, and then plate. Damn. I meant bowl. And this time adding a little cheddar blend on top. Dill, one of my favorite chips by the way. And I wish they were actually green. In any case, I don't think I need to tell you any more about what to do other than we added some chopped dill pickles to the top. And finally, barbecue. It goes through the same steps, smelling amazing the whole time by the way. And they get a few crushed chips on top just to make them pretty. People are waiting. First up, the sour cream and onion. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mm. Definitely fave contender, but we got the other ones to You'll see how they come out. My turn, cheddar jalapeno. Yum. Oh snap, little little heat on the back end. Wow. Mm. Finally, dill pickle. I thought this was gonna be horrible. This is not horrible in the least. Wow, I'm impressed. Last but not least, barbecue. Barbecue potato chip mashed fricking potatoes. 
smelled the best while they were making. Wow. This is the silliest but most delicious thing ever. Mashed potatoes are hard. No, they're not anymore. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right, as the first Sam said, not the best looking Sam, but the first Sam. Hit the notification bell, subscribe, leave us a little uh, note. We love you. See ya. You gotta make this. Thank you, Sam. Good idea. I don't care which version, just do it.